this is Sharni with Great Expectations Realty. I am in the car here with my husband Garrett. Hey, <laughs> we are going to Orlando just you know for some fun, and um, I wanted to talk about something real quick. A friend of mine just asked me, Hey, Sharni, when is a good time to have a client sign a commitment form? And I thought that would be a perfect thing to talk about in a video. Anyway, so it's story time. Um, so I had uh, someone contact me. Contact uh, someone contacted me because they wanted to move to to the Ocala area. I have several stories like that, by the way, um, just to show you how people are and why I am not mad when certain um, realtors want their client to sign a commitment form right away uh, I can't blame them you know for me if I start with my story for me uh, I like to build a rapport kind of like do some searches for the client at first um, and then when I meet them to do a tour of some some properties then I would ask them to to sign the commitment form that's that's what I usually do but what I realize is that some people they come to you they have no intention on, on buying a property with you they just want you to do the work for free so let me tell you what what happened to me about that I had someone contacted me they, they lived in Florida but they didn't live in um, in the Ocala area so she called my cell phone number I'm not sure where she got my number from but anyway she called me and she was like well you know I'm interested in moving into the Ocala area I don't know the area so if I find some properties and send to you would you be able to tell me about the area or whatever so I said yes yeah, sure I can help you with that and um, we talked about what she's looking for uh, her dream home and everything like that and um, I even set her up on a search uh, using my MLS um, and we, we were going from there we were in contact every day she was telling me about houses that she sees in the search that she likes and everything so I'm thinking okay this person is coming here to buy a home and she told me her and her family they were gonna drive to Ocala and um, that, like on a Saturday so I kept telling her well that's great I can meet you uh, we can meet at a Starbucks or we can meet at a house anything that you want to see and we can go from there and she's like oh you know thank you so much I will keep that in mind and I appreciate it so but she never uh, told me yes let's meet so I'm like okay I'm not going to um, pressure her because I, that's not what I do. Um, so I told her, okay, well, whenever you're ready, when you are here on Saturday, and I think it was the beginning of the week at this point, um, just let me know and I'll meet you. I'll, I'll save the time. And she always kind of passed on that every time I said it. So that should be my first clue, right? But I was, I was like really new then. Um, so she ended up sending me the link for a house in an area and she had a million questions about the house which i answered um she wanted to know what kind of area it is and if i know about the, the um it's a gated community if i know about the community i told her yes and i gave her all the information that i knew and then when it was uh, time for us to get a time to meet and there were a few other houses she had questions about and I told her well we can go and take a look and the market wasn't as crazy as it is now then so when a house is on the market it would last a few days and once I said that would you believe this lady told me well um, I have my realtor that helped my parents build their house so um, now that I know about the area I'll come with my own realtor so I did all of that and I didn't make a sale because her um, her intentions were always to have me do all the legwork and then come with her realtor who is from out of town to make the deal because her realtor is licensed in Florida so so that's that's one story I have so many stories about that I'll give you another one 
okay so that was one story then I have another story and um, you put my glasses on because the Sun is so bright I can even look up okay um, so I have another one um, a family they were coming from another state I'll just put it that way and um, they wanted to look at homes anyway we were in communication for weeks um, there were other things involved something they wanted to sell as well in Ocala and everything like that but anyway I was doing all the research and we had a date and two days before they were coming to town I sat down and I did all of the work um, I you know I scheduled tours and I called realtors the thing is people don't realize that uh, like we we do work uh, when we when we have to take you to properties to look at them it actually takes a lot of work to make that happen I have to contact each of those um, realtors listing agents to make sure that property is still available and then you know then to create an itinerary don't laugh at how I say that word because I don't know I can't say that word anyway to create an itinerary and um, to know where to stop first where it makes sense so all of that takes time and typically when people are coming from out of town they want to look at eight ten properties in one day which is grueling because we are going to look at properties all day non-stop so you know you don't have time to stop for lunch you're hungry you're tired anyway they wanted to see about eight or nine properties and I it literally took me an entire afternoon to put that together because there were homes that they wanted to see um, the builders didn't have that particular home then they have another home in another area that they don't want ready so I, I would look at that other home that other model to give them an idea of what they want um, so I would have to still drive to the area that they want to move in and then drive to that model anyway it's just a lot of work and um, which I don't mind doing because I enjoy what I do but don't waste my time you know um, so once um, I was doing all of that and I realized man this take a lot of work so I change um, the way I do things a little bit instead of giving the person the um, commitment form when I meet them now once we are in the stage where we are going to meet, I'm going to drive around in my car to show you property. I try to include that commitment form in our last email before we meet. So I, I sent them the commitment form um, when I sent them the itinerary so they, they know where we are going to meet for the day and where we're gonna stop first and all of that good stuff, right? The moment I sent them that form, they didn't respond to me right away like they usually do so first of all that was weird but I was like okay maybe they got busy and then um, when I got a response it was like oh you know I appreciate all the hard work that you do but um, we feel obligated to, to this other agent mind you the agent is not from Ocala so the agent doesn't know Ocala they don't know anything about the areas and anything like that so what they were trying to do is have me do all the all that work all the leg work uh, like go and show them homes and all of that and then when it was time to to do an offer they were going to use their own agent to do that so I've learned now I've learned my lesson okay so now how soon do I send someone the commitment form so if we've been communicating um, back and forth for a while, once we have a tour set up where we are going to look at properties, I try to send you that commitment form to say, hey, you know, you're working with me. Apparently you've been happy with the service I've been providing for you for so long until we get to the point of going out and look at houses. So if we get to that point, I think you should be able to sign a commitment form now the commitment form is not the same as the broker buyer agreement that's different uh, once you actually about to prepare a contract and all of that with someone it's good to do the broker um, buyer agreement so if it's a buyer of course if it's a seller is another form but 
once you get to that point it is safe to say that you can send that form to the buyer as well for them to fill it out and sign it and make it official so uh, this is just to tell you that there are people out there that will take advantage of you they have their own agent from another town or another part of florida uh, who doesn't know your area so they would use you to do all the legwork and then when it comes time to buy they buy with another agent and completely waste your time so it is up to you to know when you are going to ask a client to sign that commitment form it's, it's up to you do you want them to sign it right in the beginning or do you want to wait a little bit like I do it's really up to you anyway that's all I have for today and of course remember if you want to buy or sell in Ocala Marion County as a whole or even Orlando please contact me and my contact information is always in the description of the video and please comment like and subscribe